So let's talk about T.I. and T.I. and Tiny and the friends. And the friends. <laughs> All the friends and the hustling, yes. How did that How did that come to be? How did you decide, okay, well, you know, I don't mind doing this. These are, this is my girl. Tiny's my girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why would I, you know, jump into uh, a reality yeah. TV show? Absolutely. And let, always, me, let me preface yeah. that real quick with the fact that I always loved the T.I. and Tiny's Family Hustle. I thought it was the Cosby reality show to me. Yes. I, I appreciate how T.I. treats his kids. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, how he's, he's very strict and very stern because that's the way he was raised. T.I., yes. uh, Tiny's a little bit of a coddler. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I used to watch that show every Sunday. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I really appreciate what they did with, with reality TV as far as the black family is concerned. So now, why would you jump in? What, what was your reason for jumping in? For that reason, exactly. I was a fan of the show. Mm -hmm. um, I, and it, I, love, I love how it showed Tip in a light of, you know, the positive light. You know what I mean? Right. I think during the time when the show first came out, you know, he had just gotten out of his situation. There was a lot going on. And this show helped for people to really see him and, and, and who he was and the people that were affected during that time, his family, mm -hmm. the most important people in his life. Right. Um, and so I really, I love how, first of all, I, I knew I could trust the production company at that time because if they did that, if they were able to do that for them, for Tiny and Tip, then I knew that I could trust them with my family, my new family. Right. Um, and so, yes, it was terrifying to me because, you know, I'm very private and I have always been a person like, um, well, what y'all don't know, I won't hurt y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all don't know, ain't y'all doing this. So, um, I just was like, okay, that's cool. But at the same time, uh, me and my husband had some relatable issues. Um, and I wanted, I've always been, a, I love black love. So, okay. Uh, we were newlyweds at the time. I was expecting when, you know, I was on a whole brand new journey when we decided to go ahead with the show. And it was with some of my favorite people, Monica, you know, Toya Wright, Tiny. Um, Absolutely. People that I'd grown up with. I'd known Monica since, shoot, we, she was at Dark, I was at Silent Park. So right. that was, what, 14, 15 years old? Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, Escape. We would go and do shows. Destiny Child would do shows. And we looked up to Escape. Right. Um, and then Toya, I just, she's just always been a beautiful person, both inside and out. We actually met through, I think we met through a Duxy, um, one of my best friends. And so uh, she just has always been a beautiful light uh, to be around. And so I was like, these are people that I know and that I love and that I trust and that I'm actually friends with. And um, yeah, I said, I gave it the go ahead. Okay. All yeah. right. So no regrets. You're loving everything because now the cameras are always on they're you. On. Oh, yeah. You know what on. I'm saying? So we capture yeah. every little thing yeah, you that do. goes on. You do. That, that, you see it. <laughs> uh, and it's not always perfect. It's real. Mm -hmm. It's real. And, and I, told, I told my husband at the beginning of, of, you know, before we even take that first scene, I said, listen, I don't know anything about reality TV, but what I do know as far as being in front of a camera, which I'm pretty experienced with, is they don't have what you don't give them. So Absolutely. whatever you give them, they don't take it. Right. So uh, just I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> and I think that we've gotten very comfortable with the cameras at this point in our third season. And things have just, you know, they've happened. And, you know, this season out of all of them, is probably the toughest because, you know, um, of course, my last season, my husband lost his mom. Um, very emotional, like mm -hmm. emotional roller coaster, hands down. Um, trying to figure our way through such a, a tragedy. Also, aside from that, you know, we were brought up different. And that's right. what happens with marriage. When you have two worlds trying to collide and mm -hmm. become one, that's not always simple. That's not always the easiest thing to do. Right. Um, 
And so there's, you know, there we're learning each other. And um, has it been an easy journey? Absolutely not. We're also a blended family. I have a beautiful daughter in love uh, who is eight going on 25. Um, <laughs> I was also like, you know, I just had my daughter. She's a year and some change old. Now I'm pregnant again. Um, so it, it's been it's been an emotional roller coaster, and I'm so glad that we decided to do counseling. I was kind of nervous about that, especially counseling on camera. <laughs> right, right. Because I I've, I've been going to counseling. I've been going to counseling since I was 17, 18 years old. That's the only reason I'm saying. And I know what happens in that room. Mm -hmm. And I know how vulnerable you have to be in, in right. order for, you know, there to really be change. You have to do the work. And and especially being raised in the church, of course, people say, oh, just go to church, pray about it. I get it. I want them people too. But faith without works is dead. Right. If Absolutely. you're not doing the work, then you, you can't expect the change. Right. So um, we're still counseling right now. Thankfully, we beefed it up a bit. <laughs> we beefed up. We go a couple of times a week now. <laughs> um, and we're, you know, we're, we're, I'm fighting for my marriage, you know what Absolutely. I mean? And I feel like my Absolutely. husband is well. It's, it's painful to watch. It, trust me, he, child, he walking around here with a but hood you, on. You, you what now? He, I said, he walking around here with a hood on. He is upset with himself. <laughs> but it's also been a great mirror. Like, it's, you know, he gets to see himself. I get to see myself. Like, you right. get to see your behaviors and things that you, if you didn't see it, you wouldn't want to change it. Right. Um, so at least, you know, there's there's that. There's that good part of it. Like, oh, my God. And, and the world gets to see it. Why you get to see it? And that, that's the point where I'm going. It's like it, it, it takes – it's hard enough going through it all alone when you're in the room with the person. Now you got cameras in there. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So the fact that, that you don't mind putting your, your yourself out there because you really don't know who you're helping. You yeah. really don't know who you're saying to someone like, yo, it's yeah. okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be all right. It's all right to, yeah. to, to talk it out. It's all right to, to, to sit there and really fight for something that you really want to hold on to. You hear me? I like, hear you. I'm, I'm, I'm the, I did not get married to get divorced. Right. I, I didn't get, I'm, I, and, and I am a person that no, does not give up easy. Now, I don't, I don't deal with respect, disrespect. We can't do that. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm fighting. I got my gloves on. Right now I got my gloves on. You know what I'm saying? And then and it is taking work and it is taking patience and it is taking lots of prayer and it's taking a lot of, you know, both of us looking in the mirror and, right. you know, and really trying and having hope. Yeah. You know, having hope. That's what I believe in. Hopefully. And I'm sure that their fans are praying. Are they praying for you? They want you to win. Yeah, you got some loyal so, people. Yeah, my friends were so happy to see me get married, have my family, because they know that's something that I've always desired. Mm -hmm. That's something I've always wanted. I've been working since I was 12 years old, nonstop, and the one thing that I wanted was a family. Right. You know what I mean? So I know that they were super duper excited to see me finally start that chapter of my life. And I know it's probably difficult looking at some of what they see on TV and going, it's not perfect. <laughs> they don't live like in a We just came all this way and it's not perfect. <laughs> this ain't the storybook of, you know. Romance, gumdrop rivers. This and, is not it. You know. This ain't, mm, it's like, oh, she having to work? They having to go to counseling? What is happening? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's 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 difficult, but it is um, it's something, and it, yes, it's challenging. But I know I'm in this season for a reason, cool. and whatever God has me here for, I'm gonna learn the lesson, and we'll be able to move on from it. He'll learn the lesson. Hopefully we'll be able to move on from it.